हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इन साइड फिजिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पास कल्सला इन दिस सेशन सो हियर दिस टॉपिक बिलोंग्स टू मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स सो व्हाट इज पास कल्सला पास कल इज ए साइंटिस्ट हु ऑब्जर्व समथिंग अबाउट द प्रेजर इन साइड ए फ्लूड ही सेड दैट द प्रेजर इज सेम एट ऑल द पॉइंट्स विच आर इन द सेम प्लेन इनसाइड ए स्टैटिक फ्लूड सो वी कैन वेरीफाई दिस स्टेटमेंट बाय यूजिंग ए स्मॉल एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप हियर सी आई हैव टेकन ए फ्लूड वी नो व्हाट इज ए फ्लूड एनीथिंग दैट कैन फ्लो फ्लो एनी मटेरियल दैट कैन फ्लो मींस सी एनी गैस और लिक्विड व्हिच इज इन फ्लो that we can call that as a fluid so inside a beaker i have taken a fluid so there is a right angled prism like object we have immersed into the fluid so this object is a very very small so that all the points of the objects all the particles of the object are at same level but uh, if you see this diagram is looking very big why because we have enlarged this object to for a better understanding but uh, here this can be considered as very very small so that it has all the uh, points on it are at same level that means level means they are all at same depth from the surface of this fluid so in that way the gravity is also having the same effect on all of its points so now we will see how the pascal's law can be demonstrated using this apparatus so from pascal's law we can say that pressure at all points in a plane is equal so this is the statement so we will prove this statement using some simple uh, mathematical <coughs> procedure so if i take this angle see if this is a right angle prism the prism usually has sur surfaces see this is the area of the surface and this is one more area and this is one more area if we can say the area of this surface is suppose a and if this <coughs> surface area is like a b and this is a a and this surface area is a c you can see imagine a right angled prism here and it has the surfaces and we can understand this as one surface and this is one surface and this is one surface so here what are fa fb fc means the force acting on this surface the force fb is acting on this surface and the force fc acting on this surface so <clears throat> here we know that pressure is equal to force per unit area or force per unit area of cross section so in this way see the force acting on this uh, surface area the force acting on this surface area fb is the force acting on this surface area what is this force this is the buoyancy force of a fluid that buoyancy force because <coughs> that will uh, be because the molecular kinetic energy is causing this buoyancy force because all the fluid molecules will be continuously moving and they will collide with this surface area so that they will exert some pressure on the surface area so inside a fluid there will be a force from all the sides that means there will be a pressure of the fluid the pressure of the fluid is created by the force okay so how to uh take a look at the diagram and if this angle is considered as theta 
suppose I will write this angle as C. This angle that means angle A C B is taken as theta 2 and this angle B A C can be taken as theta 1. Okay. From this we can say that here if you observe that sin theta 2 if you take the sign of this angle this will be opposite side by hypotenuse and for the values we will consider the force first so i will write it as sin theta 2 is equal to opposite side by adjacent side that means this force f c by f b okay so if i consider again cos theta 2 is equal to see adjacent side by hypotenuse what is adjacent side f a by f b so from this i can write f b sin theta 2 is equal to f c from this i can write f b cos theta 2 is equal to f a okay so this is what i have done and again see here from this angle again i will consider the areas so again here sin theta 2 can be written as opposite side by hypotenuse that means area a c by area a b and again cos theta 2 adjacent side by hypotenuse cos theta 2 is equal to adjacent side area a can symbolize a a by that a b see this a d f b is one surface a d e c is another surface and b f e c is third surface so these are the surfaces we are considering so from this what i can write a b sin theta 2 is equal to a c a b cos theta 2 is equal to okay so here observe this as equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 equation 4 okay i will divide equation 1 with 3 so what can i get if i write c i'll divide equation 1 with equation 3 so i can get fb by a b sin theta 2 by sin theta 2 is equal to f c by a c f c by a c so this implies f b by a b is equal to f c by a c so sin theta 2 sin theta 2 will be getting cancelled so in the same way i will divide equation 2 with equation 4 okay so what will i get if i do that see i will write here okay i will divide equation 2 with equation 4 what i will get is f b by a b is equal to see f b by a b is equal to f a by a a f a by a a okay so this is equation 5 this is equation 6 so if you observe equation 5 and uh, <coughs> equation 6 we can write by observing these two 
what we can write is f a by a is equal to f b by a b is equal to f c by a c so by observing 5 and 6 we can write this in this form so what these indicate we know that pressure is equal to force per unit area of cross section so by this we can write pressure on the surface a is equal to pressure on the surface b is equal to pressure on the surface c this is what pascal's law is about so we can now say the all the points on a plane when the fluid is not moving so that means when it is static we can say the pressure on all the points is same so that the all the points are in a same plane so if there is a pressure difference means suppose the fluid is in motion that means the fluid is in motion means it is having a net force that means an unbalanced force if the fluid is in motion it is having a net force so the force is having a difference between the points so there will be a pressure difference on the points even they lie on the same plane so this is what the pascal's law is about okay thank you